All right, in this video, we got a few things to do today. This rain that we've had for the last week and a half to two weeks has really put a damper in on things of getting things done. So today I'm going to attempt to get one person relocated from one spot to another because all the rain flooded around their RV so they had to put be put into a different spot. So I got to go move the pole with the CPE to their new location, get them back up and running. I got to go take out one spot because they left. And I got to take another one out. And then I got one, another one to relocate as well. For whatever reason they moved, I don't know. Um, it's not due to flooding, I think. It's because... Um, where they moved to is not on the ground. It's actually a concrete slab that they can put their RV. So it's a little bit more sturdy and all. And plus they get a better view from there to the water itself. So we got two of them to move and two of them to remove. So let's go see if we can get this uh, all done today. And then I got four tomorrow. And then Thursday I got four to do different things I got to do and Friday I got a few things I got to do got to build a tower got to clean two APs from vines real easy work but it's just going to take all week so let's see if we can get some videos made this week Woo! all right see you there all right well the first one went to the one that uh, got flooded out and had to relocate their RV. They're not going to have um, service because they're not going to be here much longer from what I can tell. They decided <coughs> to uh, not have service. So now I'm going to the next one that uh, left and he put the router, they tur he turned it into the office which I just left to pick that up. Now I'm going to take his CPE down <clears throat> and a pole and all and go ahead and put that up on the car. And I got one I got to relocate which is going to be interesting because where they're moving from from the spot they're moving from has a outside power the new location does not have a 115 um, 115 watt, uh, 115 watt, 115 volt outlet. So I don't know if um, if I can actually get it connected because they don't have power there. Only thing they have is a box big enough for the plug for the RV to plug in. There is no like breaker panel for, you know, 30 amp breaker, 50 amp breaker, 15 amp single pole for the 15 GFI. Nothing like that. It's just one box, flip it open, plug in RV. That's it. So kind of a little different from all the others. So we're going to have to figure that out. But I'm going to get to this one and go ahead and take this one out. And then I'll go down there and finish taking the one out that I just picked up the router for. That he left in the office. But since this one's on the way, all the way out to the other end of the RV park, I might as well just go ahead and stop here and take this one out. Then, only thing I got left for today is move from H2 to L2, which one has no plug for it. So let's see if we get this one taken out. 
Okay, that one is taken out. Just pretty much open up a box, take two screws out, take two screws out of the J pole, and uh, that was it on that one. Now let's go take a 10 foot pole down with the CP on it. Then, figure out exactly how I'm going to mount after I relocate. The one that's on a concrete slab. Now, I did get permission from the office, the one that's working in the office, to mount it up on the stairway. So, at least I know I can mount it. But getting power to it, they're going to have to run a drop cord over there to plug it in. I mean, there's no really no other choice. To get power up there. Unless they get an electrician to put an outlet up there. Other than that, that's the only thing else left. It's got to get power up there one way or the other. They can put a drop cord. But they will have to get one that's made to be outside in the weather. So, don't know. But let's go get this one. And uh, go look at getting the other one moved. Well, I got that one taken out. Really don't want to record each one. It's going to make the video so long of taking it out. Um, yeah, it takes, you know, five, eight minutes, but as much as I got to do, the video will be real long. change a plan a little bit before I go and relocate the W2 to L2 somebody says their internet's not quite working as it used to so I'm going to check it out and see what the deal is hopefully the box didn't let water in because it don't supposed to but we will see we will see what it would take to get it fixed maybe something got in the way an RV or something but very slim chance because it's like right across the road from where the AP is Where's my tower? Where's the telephone pole? I know good well I got a telephone pole in there. Where you at? There you go. Okay. I'm going to check this one out and see if I uh, do a speed test and see if I'm getting the full speed. If not, it may need realignment. I don't know. I don't know if I put a hose clamp on it or a zip tie, one of them big ones. It may have turned with the wind. I don't know. Won't know until I get my hands on it and plug in the laptop. But let's go see what we can find out about that one. Okay. They said this one is not doing as well as it once did. So we're going to see... Uh, what the deal? I mean, the CPE is right here, and the AP is right there. Maybe I can raise it up some. Maybe I don't know. I don't see anything why why it won't work. I mean, it was working. I don't think it slid down. It's pretty tight in there. 
Uh -huh. One way to find out. Plug it in and give it a test. And see what it tells me. And this is the one I put in and I ran out of that. Well, actually, it's only it's not sticking. Hmm. Maybe it needs more. I don't know. But this is one that I didn't have any tape. But apparently I did because it's on there. I mean, it can be as simple as the cord's messed up. I don't know. But we're going to see, see what we get. <clears throat> Definitely turn off the Wi-Fi. It's on, which it is, and it is connected to somewhere. Turn that off. Let's see what we get. checking his account and see what he's supposed to have four up it's got to be more than let's see if I can get this to sit up here so it won't go nowhere yeah it'll sit right there nice okay look in his account and see what he's supposed to have speed wise all right they're getting like 25 30 and they're supposed to be getting like 60 so we're gonna see if we can uh, raise the uh, the CPE and see if that makes a difference. Can't hurt. The signals are like crazy. It's uh, 50 negative 56 one way and negative uh, 32 the other. So something just not right. I don't know. We're going to find out. We'll find out what's going on. See where can I sit this to keep this from being in the weather. Let's sit it right here. Let's take this thing down. Put a different wire on it. Longer wire. Get this thing up. Working fine when it was put in, but not anymore. Let's see if we can fix that. Figure out why. That's the only thing I can think of is it's not getting a signal like it's supposed to anymore. I don't know why. I don't think it moved because. These are in there nice and tight, but the CPE is still pointing towards the uh, AP. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna plug this cord and put a longer one on it. Put this thing up as high as I can get it. Let's see if that makes a difference. It's the only thing I can see to do first. It can be as simple as maybe the wires messed up. I don't know. I got one that I got to, to replace the wire today because something hit the wire and put a little hole in it and uh, water got in it. 
and it just trickled right on down to the PoE and shorted it out. I've had a few do that. It's all right, it happens. Good old damage, but that's all right. this wire here It helps if I put the cover back on. That works better. That would cause a problem. Let's try this again. Get these brackets on there. Get this thing elevated. Oh, get just there we go. Let's put this one right here. New spot. Of course, it's going to make it drop out. There we go. Let's elevate this bad boy. See if it'll stay right there. Elevation way up there. Try that elevation. That's in the right direction. Okay. Guarantee this cord long enough. 
and then some. Do they have too much and not enough? I don't feel like cutting it and putting a new end on it. I'm just going to run it right in here. Not going to hurt a thing. Multiple service loops. See how that plays out, giving me better internet speed. Let it boot up. I can test this cord and see if it was a cord by chance. Don't see no nicks in it, it's not wet. I don't know. Don't know why it did what it did. But we're going to check it out. Let's try again. See what we get. It's awful warm back there. Bottom. Woo. Nice and warm. Okay. Let's do another. We've got 23. It says it's got internet. So what we do? Steel. Man, this dagger laptop is hot as can be on the bottom. Close it and try again. Something just ain't right. <clears throat> Don't know why, but it's still not giving me. Let me look at the alignment. The power on the CPE is like negative four I mean I can't turn it down anymore as far as it goes waiting for it to come back online and I can't turn it down no further than it is so it was maybe over modulating you know sending a little bit too much I've had that before should be coming back Okay, we got internet symbol down here. <clears throat> I'm just waiting for it to uh, show back up. Refresh page. It's negative four. I mean, how much? I can't get it no lower. No sense. I mean, what happens if I turn it up? I don't know. I don't want none of that. Let's turn it up to seven. I think it's seven. Yeah, seven. See that? See what that does? I mean, I, I mean it's a good line. Try again. Let's 
This is in the 30s now. Or is it the uh, air cube that's messing up? Let's see if I can plug in directly to uh, here. Let's see if I can get anything. Any difference. Tight spot to put my fingers. There we go. Try it there. <clears throat> Same thing. Hmm. Just not getting speed that I want. It's like it's capped at 30. I don't know why. I don't know why it's doing that. I'm not getting the speed that it's supposed to be. Upload is fantastic but this download is not getting it so we're gonna see if we can move the cpu around and see if we can get I mean, adjusted the power see if i can adjust it a little more i don't want to make it too powerful well it's making no sense I have realigned the CPE, I have tilted it, I turn it right, turn it left, put it up and put it down. Seems like it's like it wants to cap out at 30. 30, 31. Don't matter what I do, don't matter what the change of the signal is from the CPE to the AP. So I'm going to just plug in the CPE, eliminate the air cube all together as if it's named here and go CPE POE to the laptop and see what we get that's the only thing I can think of do to eliminate and see what happens see what we get the worst thing to do is just do the same thing then that might point it, you know the problem to that it's the uh, CPE possible. Play elimination. All right, PoE is feeding the CPE. Air cube is no longer in play. Let's see what we get now. put you up there so you can actually see what's going on keep the cord out of the way all right waiting for the little symbol right here saying it's got internet I just may have to buy a new battery for this thing because it was fully charged and now it's over 50% gone just doing this. It should last longer than that. And it's not one of them batteries that's external. You have to open up just to get to it. Alright, now it's got internet. Go back to Wi-Fi man. It says it's got internet. Go back to Wi-Fi man and do another speed test. Hmm. Okay. Let's do 
still doing the same thing. So it's not the air cube because if it was, it would be different, most likely. It may be the, it may need to be reprogrammed. Let me reprogram it and, uh, or at least log into it and see what's going on. Disabled the uh, traffic shaping on it and see if it makes a difference or not. With it wide open. For whatever reason, this CPE is not. I'm going to get the power supply for the laptop so I can plug it in. Be sure I keep power. I'm just going to reprogram this thing. It might got surge and it just locked it up somehow. I don't know. I don't know. don't know but traffic shaping is not enabled and everything else I got in there as I normally do no idea why everything else is same as it is in all the others Hmm. And even says transmit and receive 144.44. So it's even saying that it that it would do it. Now the transmit's dropping down to 117 and back up. Well, at least it did it once. But it's sitting 144 both directions. I'm just going to do a factory reset and reprogram it and, and see what happens. Nothing else I can do other than change out the, uh, the CPE. Relocate it and see if that does anything. You know, get it away from the RV. Maybe something RV, metal or something. I don't know, but it's way above the RV. But the receiving stays at 144. Air max quality is 93, 95. Capacity is an 86. The horizontal and vertical is negative 35, negative 33. Noise floor, negative 33. Transmit uh, quality is 91. I don't know. See what happens, maybe just relocate these. Since I got extra cord, maybe put it over here just temporarily just to see if it makes a difference. I don't know. So if it's just the location, it's just gonna have to be somewhere different than usual on the pole. All right, I got this one laying down here so it gets around the RV and it's pointing directly to it, nothing in between. But I'm going to take this one and lay it down here and plug it in and program this one to tie on there and see what it actually gets the speed wise in the exact same location. Because this is one that I just took out in this park been on a different tower. So I should be able to just point it at this tower and put in the credentials of this tower and get it to uh, give me internet.
should be able to uh, get internet as soon as I logged into it. Should be the same address that I use for all the other ones. As soon as it boots up, which sorry, booted up, good enough to log into. See how this one works. We've got that one connected. Let's see if we can find that one. And now I'm going to tell the system to forget it so we'll no be no longer be in there. So the traffic shaping will be non-existing. So it will actually be wide open. Traffic shaping is disabled. Let's see what it does. If it does the same thing or doing the same thing. Perhaps the tower needs to be turned up, but I don't see that really a Almost just turn it on should almost turn it on should be enough. Let me go to the tower and see what it's doing. Maybe change the frequency on it? I don't know. As soon as I figure it out, I'll let you know. Alright, I'll turn down the, uh, the AP. The power on it. So I, I just don't, I don't know. Just don't know. Maybe a reboot. I don't know, man. It's just make, making no sense. Well, I thought I changed radio, maybe that'll make a difference, but it's not. It's not making a difference. i am got the AP right now rebooting to see, see what's going on if it will make a difference or not. It looks like my wires came loose over there. The little TLC there. See what happens if I after I've rebooted the AP. Alright, here goes nothing. Exactly, nothing. Still the same thing, 2530. Maybe it's that. I'm going to go over there and see what I'm getting actually at the tower. See if that, if it's actually putting out any more than that. Is it that the AP is just not putting out any more of that? Don't matter what I do. something get damaged over there I don't know it seems like 2530 is all I can get out of this thing don't matter which CPE I use so I guess we'll go look at the AP all right now we are plugged in directly to 
the Edge Rider X, which is one of the first boxes we ever put in. We never had any problems, and uh, it shows. Never had any issues. Never been back. So let's see uh, what we get here. If this makes a difference. Or is it something in the box in there that's just not... Yeah, something's just not right. I should be getting way more than 70. So something in here is uh, not right. I don't think it's the CP, I mean the AP because I should be getting uh, better speed than this. So I'm going to shut it down and reboot it. All of it. See if that makes a difference because I'm getting 72 and I should be getting way more than that. Alright, first thing I'm going to do is eliminate everything in here. I'm going to plug in connection straight to the, the modem see what we run then. Everybody's offline now, but let's see if we can get a new IP. Unplug it. Plug it back in and get a new IP. <clears throat> Wait for it to come back up. Come on. It says it's connected, but see what the IP is. Now it's coming up with a new one. Let's try to refresh the page. Come on. Refresh page. The Wi Fi man. There we go. See what we get now straight off the modem. Maybe it's the modem. Nope, it's not the modem. Because there we are, we have 350, 360. And we're supposed to be getting 300. So, modem is not the issue. 370. 375. Modem is not the issue. Edge Rider X, maybe. bottleneck the upload is supposed to be 10 and it's getting 11 so I'm getting all the speed that's supposed to be from them so uh, modem is not the issue all right I plugged in the modem back to the edge router X I'm plugged in the laptop back into edge router X and see if uh, what I get now since I rebooted it. Wait for it to come back online. Wait for it to get an IP from the Edge Rider X. It may be the wire that's feeding here or it might be the wire that's feeding from, from the uh, modem to the PoE that feeds the Edge Rider X and let's see I think that's all it's feeding. Yeah, but no, it's been uh, the AP as well. Have to come over here and take all this out and clean it. Come on, get out of here. Making connection. Let's see if we can get it to connect to the laptop. Alright, it says it is. Do another test. Alright, now the Edge Router X doing a little better but it should be doing more than that G 
just may have to replace it. Maybe the wires. This may be the wires. Alright, I switched the uh this camera a little better. Woo. Woo. Here we go. I switched the wires around, put the good wires on it, test the wires, and it seemed to be still the same thing. So it don't matter what I do with the Edge Rider X in play, it seems to be doing nothing but 80 megabits per second down. So I'm going to get another Edge Rider X, come over here and go ahead and program it with the same credentials as this one, same IP and stuff like that, so I can unplug one and plug in another and see if that makes a difference, if it's the Edge Rider X for some reason. I got one or two sites, I know it's only Edge Rider X is showing it can do only 100 megs. This may be one of them. If it is, it might be uh, just getting worse. But I know it's not the modem. You see that I was getting 350, 360, 370. No problem with the modem. It just, as soon as it goes through Edge Rider X, it drops down to basically 80 megabits per second down max. So I'm going to put this back together because this may not have an issue. It's just not getting over here. But nobody's been complaining about anything not working, but may not be enough people on it at the exact same time to... Uh, make a difference I don't know that 80 megs may be enough to feed whoever is actually on it so we're gonna chalk it up as edge router X is the problem we'll put this back together and go get that Edge Rider X programmed and see what we can do. See if that solves the problem. Because this CPE sitting here, I should got the maximum speed. And I was getting basically the maximum speed I could with whoever else was on it. Dropping maybe 15 megs off of it. So... I'm just not getting the maximum speed through Edge Rider X. All the traffic shaping and stuff like that. It's going to lose roughly about 100 megs off of it. So I should get roughly about 200 out of the uh, Edge Rider X. And I'm not even getting 100. More or less trying to get 200 out of it. So we will put this back together. I'm definitely going to put, keep it up high though. Because it can't hurt, it can only help it. Come on, brackets. Get out of my pocket. 
Whew. Which makes sense now, since no matter what I did with this, it would not change really. So. I can't get no more out of it here if I'm not getting enough over here to make a difference. So, it's the tower that's not sending enough. Bad boy up. Yeah, that that's why it didn't make any sense. I'm like, I know it got good line. And it just wouldn't give me the speed. tight as this is, no good will it didn't turn. Close as it is, I can almost take the CPE and point it the exact same direction as the AP is. Pointing 100, 180 away, away from the AP and I should still get speed, but as close as it is. Alright. Let's get this wire in here. Go work on uh, the Edge Router X. Uh, let's wire this back up to where it should be. Get this blue wire out of here. I don't need it. Let's see. POE. Feed the air cube. I mean, the edge router, I mean, yeah, edge router X just may, may need to be just re, factory reset and it'll be all fine, but I'm just going to replace it and see if that does the trick of fixing the slowdown. And then I'll do a factory reset on it and do a test in the house in the RV on it and see if it makes a difference that way okay I'm gonna let him know that I can't find anything wrong with his at least nothing I can see and since I got the speed that I got or lack thereof at the tower it's pretty much telling me is at the problem is at the tower it's not over here at my RV after it goes through the edge router X all underground goes through a nano switch and then it goes to a power beam and then it goes through another two switches and then I'm plugged in directly to that switch and I'm getting 220, 230 at my RV, so I should get at least 200. Because so I've taken the Edge Router X and plug it in, and notice it loses about 100 megs with all the traffic shaping and all that that it does. Now, if I offload everything, then I'll get the full speed.
but all that programming really put really taxes the uh, the Edge Rider X. So we can go get one and program it. And see if that solves the problem. Tell you what, I'm glad I figured out a way I don't have to carry all these keys. That was a pain in the butt. This will fix one plastic box. This will fit a lock. This will fit a lock. Two different locks. Two different locks for each box. Now, I'm using a box as metal boxes that uses this key. And I use this lock on these. So now pretty much eventually I'm going to have to have this at the towers at the CPEs. So much easier. Let's go get that Edge Rider X and see what we can do. The video is getting a little longer and longer. <laughs>